It is time to take control of my future. With skills, we envision a better tomorrow. Acquiring and mastering the right skills will take me further in life. My skills will pave the way for my future. Through the World Skills Singapore series, skilled youths master their skills and test their capabilities against demanding standards. Top medalists at World Skills Singapore will represent Singapore at the biennial International World Skills Competition often referred to as the Youth Olympics of Skills. Since Singapore's first participation in World Skills Competition or WSC in 1995, Team Singapore has done progressively well. Last year, at the 43rd WSC in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Team Singapore clinched a record number of medals and medallions in 17 out of the 20 skills areas it participated in. The team returned with one silver medal, two bronze medals and 14 medallions for excellence. Back in Singapore, we are preparing for the international competition through the national leg of the skills competition. This year, some 300 youths have responded to the call for skills excellence in the World Skills Singapore 2016 qualifying rounds. The grueling tests have sieved out the best and 150 have emerged as finalists. The grand finals of the World Skills Singapore 2016 is finally here at the ITE Colleges. After months of intense preparation, the competitors are raring to show us their skills. For the 2016 World Skills National Competition, we are happy to see greater involvement of educators, career counselors, employers, professionals and sponsors in the competition. The competitors have put their mind and souls into honing their skills and doing their best for the ultimate challenge. They have shown that skills excellence require not only hard work, but the will to try something new with the spirit of excellence. These qualities are very much aligned with the skills future movement. So over the last uh, uh, four years, uh, the World Skills International membership have actually increased by 30%. And now with 75 uh, member countries, definitely the competition has become much more keen. And here in Singapore, what we have done actually is we have actually decentralised the qualifying round and encouraged the individual institution uh, to conduct their own uh, selection. So in the process, they were able to encourage more students to come forward, take part, uh, import, and also emphasize the importance of skills and through that, uh, hopefully with a bigger pool of students that they can select from uh, internally within the institution, they will then select the one or two candidates to then take part in the final. So hopefully with this bigger pool of students, we can raise the overall standard. Our youths have stood up to the test and displayed high levels of skills in 17 skills areas, namely aircraft maintenance, CNC milling, CNC turning, cooking, electronics, graphic design technology, health and social care, industrial control, information network cabling, IT network systems administration, IT software solutions for business, mechanical engineering design, CAD, mechatronics, mobile robotics, restaurant service, visual merchandising, and web design. With their skills, our youths can create a future of endless possibilities. Let's hear what our judges have to say about the standards of this year's finalists. We have enough time to prepare the team and also the students for the final round. I believe the students who represent Singapore will perform well in the next year's uh, final uh, competition. The competitors come from the various institutions and I believe they have given us the best of the best and I can see in them that they are very compassionate, passionate about their work. At the same time, they show the caring attitude and can see in them also the, the commitment that they want to do very well. I think everyone has worked very hard and uh, 
it's been very tiring and tough and we had like muscle aches and all but we kind of like make friends with each other so I think like that's the best thing we can do. Yeah. I've learned a lot of stuff throughout everything and how to manage with customers, how to be more confident with myself. And I think that it, it will really help me in the future and outside besides school and it's a great experience for me overall. We always ask them, uh, do you want to represent Singapore? Because this is the, I will tell them if this could be the one your lifetime to represent Singapore. So if once they're motivated, uh, training is uh, much, much easier, I would say. The three-day competition has attracted more than 10,000 visitors. Some came to root for their friends, while others just wanted to see what this competition is all about. Still others are here to learn a new skill through our Skills for Life workshops. By the end of it all, we hope that everyone who came by received a deeper appreciation and understanding of the value of skills. Oh yeah, I find the CPR workshop is very interesting. I learned how to apply the CPR in step. All right. And I think it's useful because I may be able to save someone's life in the future. Mastering a craft is an uphill task, and the World Skills Competition is part of this never-ending journey of learning. Mastery, dedication, hard work, and daring to innovate. They are excellent role models in their pursuit of excellence. Even as World Skills Singapore 2016 comes to an end, a new journey has just begun for a select few. Soon, we will watch a new Team Singapore preparing themselves for the global stage at the 44th International World Skills Competition in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates in October 2017. They will show the world how, with their skills, they can create and shape a brighter future for themselves and for Singapore.